Ay, ay, ay. Welcome back to Foster Care. Coming at me live. Coming at me and you live. Coming at Mikey the WAP live. It's Valentine's Day, baby. How you feeling? You feeling horny? Are you in love? No. <laughs> Women just, are dumb. Just horny. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best thing about Valentine's Day. It just reminds you every year that women are stupid enough that if you get in any kind of fight with them, you make any mistake, whatever, whatever you do, you just get them a card, dozen flowers, and we're back. Back in business. What kind of flowers? Roses. Yeah. Yeah. I got my girl roses yesterday because <laughs> we're, we're recording the podcast a day late because daddy was hungover as hell. That Eagles game. <laughs> it hurt. It fucking was brutal for a lot of reasons. I saw people bitching about Jalen Hurts, the fumble. I'm like, dude, the guy barely turned the ball over all year. One freak play. What are you going to do? One play didn't do it. I would say the groundskeeper may have something to do with it. How about every, all my boys, all our fast black kings slipping all over the goddamn field during February, which I would look into. Not cool. One fumble slash interception is pretty impressive for a whole game. And the punt return, the punt return fucked us. That was a tough one. Um, what the? What's it called? Like a squibble or something? A squib. Squib. Is that what? <laughs> what was, was it? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, there was a, there was a couple plays that fucked mm. us. It was uh, it was. T- I mean, I had three people leave a Super Bowl party early because they were tired. Now the Italian blood in me wants to say that was the jinx. They put the Maloiks on us. It was tough, dude. It was a tough one. I just hate, I hate seeing Patrick Mahomes. I mean, can we get hot quarterbacks? Bring them back. That dude is fucking heinous. And he sounds, I mean, sounds horrible. I'm not even going to bring up his fucking Momo brother. Do you ever see his brother doing the TikTok dances? No, I don't watch TikTok at all. I mean, could we get a sniper on top of NFL stadiums? If you're making TikToks while you're watching the game, put double tap him in the head, drag him out back, start a bonfire with him. It, I mean, I don't know. It was a tough game. Tough, tough, tough. There was a bunch, but what can you do? How about a shout out to all the losers that went down to Broad Street to parade anyway, even though we lost? Did you see that? <laughs> no. <laughs> what the fuck? This isn't a soccer game. This isn't a hockey game where you lose up in Toronto and they go riot if you lose anyway. I'm like, how about you just hang out? Hang out with your fat, dumb girlfriend and have a couple more brewskis. Because that's what I did. How was I feeling at work yesterday, Mike? I had brain cancer. Everybody, nothing's better. That, that's the one good thing about working construction. It's the safest place you could be hung over is dog shit. Everybody yeah. was just moping around. Yeah. You could tell like which guys had their kid custody for the weekend because they're playing like depressing rock music. You're like, God. How'd you feel about the halftime performance? Oh, performance. I liked it. I liked it. I feel like it was all old songs. And I feel like Rihanna has like a She hasn't had a new newer song, ones right? that are good. I, th- she even, I don't think she's come out with an album in like two years. I don't know. There's got to be something newer. Those are all like... She's too busy getting fucked. Those are like middle school, (laughs) high school bangers. Yeah. Those are like old... Those are like early 2000s strip club songs. Yeah. (laughs) Pulled up, pulled up. (laughs) Did she even (laughs) sing that song? I couldn't... I mean, I wasn't... Yeah, she did. I was just staring at that ass. She's so hot. I feel like at one point she did rubber cooter and stink. Smell it though. Did you see that? I wish you could have yeah. a. I wish they had scratch and sniff t- TV so I could smell some of that fucking Caribbean cooter. And the camera angle was like at her knees, like yeah. getting up at her. And it was pretty like, sick. Yeah, it would have been sick if she had a wardrobe malfunction, and just had crotchless panties on, <laughs> just let that thang hang. Yeah, I mean. Wait, speaking of like raiding the streets, there was a guy who parked his car and got oh, out of I it in a Chiefs temple. jersey and then people just flipped his fucking car. Did he have a Chiefs jersey on? That's what they said. I just want, I think those kids are making it up. I did see the one kid, the main suspect who flipped the car, greased back hair, bun, and judging by his neck, jaw structure, Italian. <laughs> Definitely Italian and I would, I would argue from New Jersey. So look into that. I feel like that's the highest probability of being correct. Also, the first time I saw, I saw that video on Twitter Sunday, and I was like, "Is this old?" And I'm like, "God damn, boys, you're about to be Champ- Temple kids get rambunctious. Maybe they were just like fucking. I don't know. They were trying to get back at all the muggings that are happening on their <laughs> college campus. Them kids are getting fucked up. It ain't gonna help now. The Temple's just exposed to different shit. Like Drexel campus, you don't have homeless people named Flips who, if flips. you throw them a quarter, they'll do two backflips. They have that in Drexel. A Temple. Oh, in Temple. Yeah, yeah like yeah. Drexel isn't exposed to that form of like the streets. Yeah, there's way more Asians over there. A lot <laughs> of Asians are. <laughs> that's <laughs> way more docile. <laughs> that's the blending of U Penn. One time I went to a fucking concert and we met these two ladies that were going. To Drexel I think they were like I don't know what the fuck they were they were smart and I was like 24 and we went and uh I could tell the girl's apartment was so nice I started making fun of her for being rich and she kicked me out and my buddy was banging a chick like around the corner so I just went and got a six-pack and drank it with a homeless guy for like two hours which I mean it was all fun and games until he started acting like a homeless guy <laughs> and then you're like okay I might get stabbed but I lived obviously that was a solid 10 years ago 
But yeah, dude, it's Valentine's Day. How do you feel? Like another day. Yeah, it's just another goddamn day. The capitalist. It's another capitalist holiday, which um, we are staunch capitalists on this podcast. Wait, what do you mean? I mean? Isn't everybody like, that's not a real holiday. They just fucking, it's just to sell oh, cards. Oh, Valentine's Day? Yeah, Valentine's Day. Little known fact, that's how you pronounce that. If you're a fucking moron. I like that though. I only like girls who say Valentine's Day and I like girls who say refrigerator instead of refrigerator. Refrigerator, that's good pussy you're about to get. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you, my girlfriend is, we. she is cranky pants today because we're redoing the bathroom. So I'm traveling around to all my friends. I have tons of friends, boatloads of them. They all got showers. So I'm over there using all my boys' showers. And you can tell which one of my dude friends are like accepting, like expecting a woman to come over that week because their bathroom's actually clean. Because half of my boys, when you're a single dude, you usually get out of the shower dirtier than you were like before you got a shower. It's just come in the drain. It's tough. But I, dude, I showered with Dr. DeBroner's. You ever use that? Is that like a soap? I don't know if it's Bonner's or Bronner's. I've used it forever, but I never look at what the fucking thing says. It looks like horse shampoo. It's like this big. And uh, you got to be careful washing with that. Because I wash my nuts and you feel like you're like, do I have an STD? <laughs> your ball, it feels like you dipped your balls in mouthwash. It's insane, <laughs> dude. You ever put icy out on your balls? No. During track, if you like... I don't know. An example might be like a relay race. Mm. If you like lost the race or like they put nuts on ruin the lead on the bus ride back, they'd make that kid icy hot oh balls. My God, why is everyone every every punishment for any team sport is the gayest thing? They're like, oh, guess who's got to eat Slim Jims out of our ass because we lost the fucking relay race. <laughs> yeah, it's always some kind of gay punishment. Did you ever get kids getting in trouble for hazing in school? Oh, of course. I think there was at my school. I don't know. I, forget, I don't think it was my school before I got there. Somebody got in trouble for making kids eat Slim Jims out of their ass. I'm like, I don't want to play anything that bad. I don't want anything that bad. That was why I was like, man, all these stories come out. They're like some chick. You had to blow a guy to get a job. I'm like, find a different job. What? Like, what do you? Unless he's a hot guy. I'll work him over for 500K a year. God bless. I um, what else would I complain? Dude, I had a we rough weekend. Friday, I had a good show. Brendan Donegan, shout out to him. He had a show in one of those. I mean, every Italian chick in Jersey just has a boutique clothing shop now. I'm like, who the fuck's coming here? You know what I mean? I want, I want some like you got some tan wop chick <laughs> selling you a pair of jeans. They're gonna fall apart. I need child slave labor to make my clothes. I wonder who makes Carhartt stuff. We got to look into that. Yeah. Where is it manufactured? I don't know. Hopefully in the red, white, and blue. I feel like it's a U.S. Yeah. I want a fat lady stitching my jeans together, smoking a cig. Stinks. She's got gnarled knuckles. Not some poor little Chinese boy making my shoes. Yeah. But no, we had a show at that place. Then daddy got tuned up and then I went to Helium and we were ripping and tearing all night long. Well, dude, I slept. I slept till five o'clock Saturday. Woke up, my car was at helium, so I had to <laughs> I had to Uber to go get in my car, and there was a stain on the driver's side. Like I stopped to get gas. Plus, this will make sense later in the story. I got a bunch of water and I got a like a one pound bag of gushers. I was hung over, so for some reason gushers sounded good. It's a treat and hydrates when you they burst when you burst when you bite. And uh I think I stopped to get gas and I noticed there was like a stain on the driver's side seat, like the driver's seat, and I was like, Bleh. I called my girlfriend, I'm like, You popping breaking pens on the goddamn truck? No, she apparently she wasn't. I dropped a gusher and I thought it fell on the floor, but it fell in between my legs and I got the one. And then I get home the next that night. My girl's like, what's on your ass? I did this a black show. So I'm it's me and three other white guys. None of the white guys are on the show. I got to headline this show after like five hilarious black people go up. And I'm like, you're already digging me a hole. And um, had a weird set. And then I got off. I get home and uh. What you call it? I uh yeah, my fucking. I'm looking at my pants. The gusher exploded on my asshole, so I had a I had a red gusher stuck where my butthole was, and I did this whole entire comedy show with just a fucking bamboo at what's that? What, what are those? Uh, baboon, uh, baboon, <laughs> bamboo ass. <laughs> my hangover is coming back. Yeah, I had baboon asshole. It was just a tough, tough weekend. So that happened Saturday, then Sunday they got the Eagles game, and then that got me. Did be dirty. We ate some Papa John's. We did get Papa John's. Papa bless. Papa bless us with a couple pies. You would slap me in the face. I made a veggie tray, <clears> and then I made spicy sweet potato chips. Re I like a sweet potato. They were fire. I will never kick anybody out of my house for eating a sweet potato. I love okay. a sweet potato. Yeah, I would rather. You might you might hang me for this. I'd rather a sweet potato fry than a regular fry. Oh no, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm into that. They need they to make just it can't be soggy. Yeah, they haven't. Nothing, is anything worse than when you get takeout food and it comes in styrofoam? 
I don't give a fuck about the environment. You know me. This podcast is too straight to worry about that kind of crap. But it will make a soggy fry. Mm-hmm. I hate that. You need a cardboard takeout container. Everybody knows it. You know what helps? The styrofoam containers with the corners. The holes. Well, you could poke it you yourself. The ventilation. Yeah, some of the styrofoam have the corners perforated, and you could poke really? holes in it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, well, nobody does that. No, they always year old showed up locked up. No holes used. I'll lock you up for serving me soggy fries. <laughs> Fucking throw away the key. It's warm as hell today. Yeah, it's Global beautiful. Global warming's back. I'm liking it. I, I know that the world's going to end. We got Chinese spy balloons fucking ruining everything. I love that everybody's like, that's a Chinese spy balloon. I'm like, they, that's the best they could come up with. They make all the phones, but they can't figure out a fucking good plane to spy on us with. What do you think about that? You think it's fake? Um, I really hate the amount of attention it's getting because I feel like there's better things to report. But uh, what do you think we should be reporting on? I don't know. Not fucking balloons in the skies. We yeah. send drones and balloons to every country. We can do what we want. USA, baby. Yeah, but like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. And now all them hazardous waste trains are blowing up. You see that? They're like, they're, they're, they're poisoning the water in Ohio. I'm like, hey, Ohio stunk before that. What do they got? The fucking Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Football Hall of Fame? What do they have? Cleveland, right? Cleveland, Ohio's Rock and Roll. Don't have a clue. And Ak- Akron's fucking football. I got, I'm legitimately developing a speech impediment. I fucking slur my words so bad. And I'm not hung over today. I feel good. The champ is back. He's got no bathroom. But. We'll figure that out. I've been literally just traveling around to different friends' houses, showering there. Who has your favorite shower so far? Mm, interesting question. Because I'm a huge shower raider. When I go to a friend's house, I'll let them know. Like, you have a two out of ten, buddy. Two out of ten? If it's a Why? shit shower. Well, main thing with my shower issue is the height of the fucking the water dispenser. Oh. I'll be getting my chest washed and my beautiful hair is nowhere to be found. <laughs> I got a fucking crouch down. I got scoliosis from one of my friend's showers. The one problem is I do not bring my own stuff. I left my others. My, I left my stuff at my one boy's house, and we went to my buddy Nick and Amanda's, and I used this lady's shampoo, and it looked like dog shampoo. You know how hard it is to figure out what different containers are what when you're a dude in the shower? Nobody talks about that struggle enough. I'm like, I get we make 75 cents more an hour than you guys, but how about we fucking figure out what we're showering with? Any place I've showered, like a friend's house, the with a girlfriend of course or a girl living there the bottles they're like fucking too many bottles too many bottles and men have better hair than women i'll say it right now but that's part of the ranking if i can go there and not bring my own products oh yeah you're getting like three points off the bat i remember one time we were at my buddy's uh remember well we used to play that freedom game but remember when everybody had a loofah did you ever have a loofah yeah my friend had there was like three different colors because he had three different siblings and he knew which color was whose and he told his sister he's like well that one's from my body and that one's from my legs and then he's like and the pink one that's for my privates and his sister that was the first time i experienced someone getting kicked in the ball so hard that he cried we were like 13 i was like because <laughs> my sisters they were too short to kick my nuts my nuts are swinging too high but we need to know karate karate my family is trained in the arts <laughs> Where'd you watch the Super Bowl at? <laughs> Wait, the dumbest what? shit. At. I said they're trained in the arts. Wait, is that why'd you say the Super Bowl after all? Oh, I don't know. I was like, where did you watch the Super Bowl? Did you oh, have people uh, over? I watched it at my friend's house. We had like seven people over. I actually got drunk, like legit. Hammered? It's like the first time in like four months. How hammered are we talking? Mike's like, like I had three thimbles of IPAs. <laughs> no, I had one shot of Grey Goose and then you know, like the taller beers, not like a tall boy. A thick boy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, I a, like, five like a beer those. bottle? No, no. Like 16 ounce can, I think. Yeah. Normal one's 12. Oh, a pounder. 16. So yeah, I had yeah. four of those. What were you drinking? Uh, I brought three different IPAs and then took one of my friends. Multiple IPAs. One you are like, a real white guy. Dude, I love IPAs. IPA, what is it? It's Indian Pale Ale, right? What's the difference between an Indian Pale Ale and a regular beer? They just taste worse? Um, I could go into the history of it. But well, let's re- not do that. In reality, <laughs> it just has like more strong aromatic ingredients. Yeah. See, that's why it's lost on me. Give me a high life any day. I drank about 17 high lifes on Sunday. Crushing those, had a couple shots of whiskey. Know what I do love? A Pabst hard coffee. That It's like yoo with booze in it. It's so good. You've said Pabst before. What is that? Pabst. Pabst what kind of beer? Oh, it's a type of yeah. beer. Yeah. Pabst the corner Oh, is that Blue Ribbon? Yeah, Pabst Blue oh, Ribbon, PBR. God. But now they have hard coffee, and it comes in like, it's like a little tiny, like a Red Bull-sized can. It's got like 200 milligrams of caffeine and like 7% alcohol. And you want to beat up your girlfriend? That's the move. <laughs> Isn't that the biggest day of the year, Super Bowl? Like, more women get hit that day, which is not funny. I'm always joking when I say that. But 
it sucks so bad because now women probably have to get deal with more of that shit because all these dudes could just gamble from their phones. Mm. America was better when men had to leave the house to ruin their family. It's true. Now you can just gamble on your phone. You you can cheat. You can go on OnlyFans and get fucking dumped by your girl for cheating on that. It's like at least have the self-respect to leave your family, like at least leave them home when you go and cheat. Now you're fucking trying to digitally finger some chick on OnlyFans. You're gambling your child's college fund away on your phone. I mean, and you can order nicotine gum to the house. Go buy a pack of cigarettes and bang a hooker. That's what you need to do if you want to ruin your family. Go get a bookie. Get your knees broken. Can you imagine telling your family, like, sorry, you can't go to college because I spent too much money on DraftKings? Like, Dad, go to Atlantic City and do crack. Do something fun. So sad. Because, dude, yeah, you're just watching your life get ruined on your phone. We got to stop with the phones. I think that's what we really need to address. Something's happening. And I'm included because my screen time, uh, brother, that screen time is through the roof. I liked your uh, DraftKings compared to like a bookie type deal. Yeah, like, like being physically threatened or like yeah. having your life in danger. Yeah. Could you, you know how embarrassed you'd be if you saw the 60 grand you bet on the Super Bowl? If you saw the guy who invented that app, <laughs> some pencil neck pussy is taking your money. I'm like, at least get a good bookie. You want like an Irish guy with the Jeff cap to come to your house and kneecap you in front of your kids. And then be like, this is why you can't go to UC Berkeley. I'm sorry. But instead, no, you're swiping away, ruining your life. You don't bet, right? No, but my dad has a bookie and he drives, uh, you know, like the Fiat's that are souped up. Yeah. It's called the like, Abarth. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His Fiat looks like a, a Ferrari and it has like 400 horsepower. And they're the little egg cars? Dude, the tiniest little thing. He does burnouts in it. Italian? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. That rocks. That does rock. Until you flip it. Don't park that thing at Temple. You'll be <laughs> Foxville. Or you lose too many bets. God. Yeah, one of the dudes I worked with used to be a bookie and he made so much money and this has fucked him. It's so funny that the government, the only way the government makes money is doing stuff that uh, like everybody in the mob used to do. You can't sell drugs anymore. You got to go buy Oxy from fucking Pfizer or whoever the fuck. It's ruined. Yeah. Now, that that is dudes are Adderalled up, beating their wives, gambling on their phones and trying to fuck chicks on OnlyFans. That's where we're at. God, that is tough. You're an OnlyFans influencer ruining dudes' families. That is f- very funny. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. You're fucking a flashlight to pretending this some chick. Your poor wife sleeping next to you. You're fucking coughing because you were smoking cigarettes, watching your team lose, and now you have your half-hard dick in a, in a fucking flashlight. Ruining your day. Ruining my day, thinking about it, honestly. I don't know. What I'll, age do you think most people like decide to hit their wife? That's got to be in you from young. You got to see your dad doing it, I guess. Mm. Thankfully, I only saw my dad hit people in road rage incidents. But do you think... Plus, my mom would not be having that. You'd get a fucking butcher knife right in the chest for my mom. My mom caught me cheating on one of my girls. Did I ever tell you this story when my mom walked in? My buddy had a 25th birthday party at my house. And he was hammered and dove into my parents. My parents have a hand dug. My great-grandfather's hand dug a pool in my parents' backyard. So it's like an in-ground pool, but there's like patchwork. You can see like there's a cinder block on one wall. It's just painted over. Like if it's full, it looks beautiful. But then if you take all the water out of it, you're like, what the fuck? Like it looks like I made that shit. But um, my boy, had a, he was having a birthday party. And uh, he got drunk and dove into the shallow end, not realizing it. My mom jumped in the pool and addressed to drag him out. And they're like, where's Ryan? Where's Ryan? And I was in the ba- basement porking my <laughs> girlfriend's best friend. And my mom came in. She, she, I heard her coming down the stairs because I got pervert ears. I can hear anything that's going to ruin me getting pussy. I'm like, something's, something's afoot. My mom's afoot. And I jumped out of the room and I meet her halfway in the hallway. I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? And she's like, who's in there? I was like, nobody's in there. She opens up the door and the girl's standing there butt naked. Right there. I'm like, at least dive under the bed. Get some rug burn on your tits for the cause. <laughs> That's at least worth it. Could you imagine she walked in on banging a flashlight looking at OnlyFans? Get your shit together. What would you say to that? I mean, that's probably worse, honestly. <laughs> that's <laughs> what I was like, thinking. Ah, that's a, yeah, now that I now that you say it out loud, I'm like, actually, I'm getting this ain't digital pussy. That's the real thing. America made. Go give it a grab. Tough. That girl got me. She had the she had a fat ass. And we were standing around my pool and I said something about her ass. And she was like, What are you gonna do about it? And I'm like, what am I gonna do about it? Go downstairs. <laughs> You're a bad friend. I was literally teaching my ex-girlfriend a lesson by not being friends with whores. Catholic. She wasn't Catholic, though. I think she was Protestant. (laughs) It's a double-edged sword. It really, truly is. You want a bad friend or a bad boyfriend? How about we combine those and ruin my friend's birthday? (laughs) My mom was furious. She tried to run me over with the car. Yeah, Italian. (laughs) I was standing on the stairs. She kicked me in the chest, tried to kick me down the stairs. 
Good time to fire a little broad. But that was tough. Yeah, those OnlyFans people that I don't know. Know what I was thinking the other day? You know how embarrassing it has to be to be a goddamn like a uh, social media influencer like open at the open mic level, like an aspiring social media influencer. Like as a comedian or just no, a guy just a girl. No, I'm talking about like just a guy or a girl who's just like, look at this candle brand I found. Like you got where do you start off with that? Like you have four followers and you're like, hey, I'm sponsored by, I saw some girl promoting Vaseline gifted her some lotion and she's like putting Vaseline on her arms. I'm like you and every other bitch that's ever lit. Like what? Thanks for the hot tip. It's winter. So I should lotion. Speaking of lotion, I need a lotion up. I just fucking showered at my boy's house. I walked down to that crisp air and my face feels like leather right now. But yeah, that's gotta be tough. Like how do you find brand sponsors to get you when you have like 600 Instagram followers? I feel like most people have some sort of manager or assistant that just randomly spams other brands until someone oh, answers. Oh, God. I can't imagine. God. I think that's send how a e- lot of it works. You got to send an email to Vaseline like, hey, I look like shit. Is there anything you can do to help my skin be less cracked and chafed? They're like, bitch, you got eczema. Thank God everybody's inclusive now. They're like, hey, you have a horrific birthmark on your face. Let's let you fucking be a, like a fucking makeup ambassador. That's tough. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that is how it works. You want to get like a one-legged guy to like fucking get sponsored by Nike. They're like, this guy's the man, Stumpy Jones. That's tough. But what are you going to do? You did like the halftime show? Oh, yeah, I did. For sure. I can't. I need. I think we should bring back like I want a 90s band to do halftime, like Third Eye Blind or something. Have like three bands that they're missing one member of each from heroin. Like that would be sick. When we were really doing heroin, real heroin, not Pfizer heroin. Fucking black tar heroin, the good times. Could you imagine if Creed did another halftime show? I'm down for pretty much any rock related halftime if they like. When was the last time there was a rock related one? Last year was all the fucking last year's halftime show was like 50 Cent, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg. Yeah, that was like the pregnant. You got pregnant in high school fucking halftime show. That's a good time. 50 cents. Oh, yeah, because 50 cent was like out of breath, hanging upside down. He's like, hey, if I'm in the club, he's like, flip me over. My heart can't pump any more blood. Christ. I think we talked about this in one of the earliest episodes, but my favorite part of that uh, halftime show last year was just my uncles all bitching. Oh, pissed. What the? We used to be a country. And then Eminem comes on and they're like, he's the greatest. (laughs) Yeah, now that guy can spin a ball of yarn or whatever old guys describe rap. Yeah, I mean, there must have been, you know how many guys were getting dagger eyes last night because Rihanna was on screen? I'm like, bitch, why can't you be like that far, big, far-headed bitch? I love her. And she's a billionaire. It's so funny that her, she did reveal that she was pregnant. Every girl that was at my house was spazzing. Spazzing. But at it, I'm, how much do you get paid for a halftime show? It's got to be crazy. I don't know. 30 I don't, bucks. I don't want to say a million, but maybe half a mil. $500,000 in like 20 drink tickets, I would assume. Right, I can't believe she didn't bring anybody out either. She did solo dolo. Yeah, endurance. That'd be so funny. They should let like Louis C.K. do a halftime show. <laughs> just <laughs> do like a bunch of pedophile jokes and be like, hey! he, the whole stage is just a foot he's standing on that would fucking rock. Just jerks off in the middle yeah. of the stadium. <laughs> Elon Musk does a guest appearance and just crashes a fucking Tesla into a family. Like, sorry, the auto drives fucked up again. I just saw a video of uh, some dude like demonstrating like the auto, the auto drive of the Tesla. And he's like in a parking lot. The dude goes the wrong way down a one way. And then like a pickup truck's pulling out and he literally drives up to like the bumper. And like the guy, he then he holds up his finger to the guy like one second on my car calibrates. I would have got out with a fucking baseball bat and put it through his windshield. I'm like, are you high? God, some day trader telling you to wait while you're that guy's probably getting a goddamn rotisserie trick and trying to get back to the construction site. Am I talking super fast today? I feel like I am. I don't think so. Yeah, I just can't. Did he drive the car into that position? Or he was parking and then wrong? he hits a button and then it like backed out and he like drove around. He's like has his hands up and then it almost hits a guy and he's like one second. I'm like one second. I just want to drove over his fucking car. That'd be the best. My mom actually hit a Tesla. She's fighting the good fight. Why don't you guys get out there and try to destroy these cars? Everybody that bitches about Elon Musk that he's fucking the new Hitler with cars. You know, it'd be so funny if they put like little mustaches on the front of those cars. <laughs> Everybody's like, he's terrible. I'm like, well, why don't you guys do something about it? My mom tried to destroy it with her brand new Ford F-150. <laughs> no, she has one of those uh, Ford Rangers. It's like an F-150, but small. 
And I think she like tried to make a left hand turn and hit the front. And those things have like the ramp, the scooped front. My mom did like a 180 and crashed into a ditch yeah. on her way to a doctor's appointment. And then she called everybody from the car wreck. And she's like, I'm good. So funny. Shout out to these. That's good times. Yeah, I never thought about that. It is really easy to drive over the front of a Tesla. Yeah, they're like scooped Especially down. with a truck. Yeah, that would be sick. There needs to be like some kind of vigilante out there destroying those cars. It'd be so funny. Yeah. Did you see there was a, I just saw somebody that there was like a road rage incident in New York. The, some guy drove like a U-Haul truck onto the sidewalk. It was like killing pedestrians. What? Yeah. I don't know if he killed anybody, but it was definitely I was watching that yesterday while I was hungover at work, just going through Twitter to see what was going on. Just a spy balloon. Did you see all, yeah, all that hazardous waste in Ohio? People are getting crushed. No, first I You heard. don't pay attention to anything. I know. I yeah. only got a few things this episode. <laughs> got nothing. <laughs> got nothing for me. I don't know. We're going to Italian dinner tonight. What was the last thing you did for Valentine's Day with, with a lady? You've been single for years, though. Um, Two and a half years in California or three years in California. Yeah. I went to a... What the fuck's Cheesecake Factory? Oh. We got some drinks, got some dessert. I've never been to Cheesecake Factory. It was a simple night. Cheesecake Factory. They're, that's the place with like the million, the million like item menu. Yeah, their menu is gigantic. Was it good? Oh, yeah, dude. You get the fried mm. macaroni and cheese balls in the like as the appetizer. I mean, I don't like that. I don't like the double bread food. It's you good. could have macaroni and cheese fried. I'm going to Italian dinner. I'm going to get some arancini. You ever have that? No. <laughs> Mike, it's like a little ball of risotto. It's like hard crusted fried. Dip that in some marinara sauce. Marron. Sounds it's good. The best. Making me one Arby's. I got Arby's on Friday, by the way. I had court. They moved my court date again. Hey, if the cop doesn't show up, let your boy off. Let me off. Third time. Third time this guy didn't show up. Fucking God damn it. I should have been a cop. You know how fun it would have been to be a dirty cop? <laughs> I would have been filthy, horrific, bad cop. Dirty cop in a suburb or city? City. You can do way more stuff. And not bad stuff like beating up minorities. I know how you guys act. <laughs> Horsing around. I'd get in there and clean that department up. I'm like, why aren't we banging hookers? Stop hitting these ladies. <laughs> You'd be playing good cop, bad cop. With myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm. That guy, yeah. No, I could never handle being a cop. I get way too angry about people I don't know. Like, I'll just make a decision on some guy. It's like, you know, when you're like driving somewhere and someone cuts you off and you're like, this racist beats his wife. You don't even see the guy's face. I'm like, I just imagine he's a piece of shit. You're hurrying home to beat your wife up. But then you cut somebody off and you're like, I'm a good guy. I made a mistake. Let me live. Now I can't stop thinking about 90s rock music because of the goddamn Super Bowl. That would be sick. I'm so pissed I didn't grow up in that era of music. Like the nine, like Third Eye Blind, you got some cargo shorts. You're at a fucking keg party you went to college because it was only like eight thousand dollars a year back then back then it's so insane it's upsetting that the 1990s were 30 years ago i'm three th what year were you born 96 the blizzard of 96 yeah that was yeah. my birthday damn that was when it ruled snow rules now I, snow for me just sucks i gotta fucking shovel my goddamn work van out and then go to a construction site and freeze my giblets off God, nothing's worse than watching the Mexican guys when it's cold out. You're like, you poor bastards. <laughs> You're not built for the shit. Dude, some newer cars have heated tires. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? You start your car and it melts some of the snow on the tire and the ice. Oh, get your wife to shovel your car out like a man. That's what, come on. Shovel out your fucking car. They, you can melt the snow around your tires. I know people do heated driveways. We do them all the time. And so That's like, really cool. Yeah. But it's also like, just make your kids shovel it. That's the only reason to have kids to do yard work you don't want to do. I love shoveling. Shoveling's good until you've done it for too long, and then you're like, why? This sucks. You need a leaf, a snowblower. Some of those dudes, I feel bad for my cousin. He just bought like one of them snow, uh, like a snow plow kit for his truck and like the salt thing in the back. I'm like, <laughs> send it back. Are we never going to get snow? I don't know. We'll I could move. tan my asshole in the fucking porch <laughs> of my house right now. It's like 60 degrees out. It's perfect. I do feel bad for all the guys who flew down to fucking the Super Bowl to watch that shit, and we lost. That's a tough hangover. That flight home, because you know you're blacking out after that. I'm like, we're going to a strip club. I'm getting AIDS tonight. Tonight's the night. I'm going to eat chicken fingers and eat some chick's ass, and my wife's going to find out, because everybody has a phone out now. You can't even cheat anymore. Technology's ruined cheating. Not that I was into that, but pussy hounds are down. You're finished. You can't bring your side bitch anywhere. How do you... I don't know. I've never really cheated. Like I've never like plotted or planned something elaborate, but I feel like it is very difficult nowadays. You don't plan to cheat. Cheating just happens. Well, I know. Love is in I'm the air. Saying, you're at a dive bar. Some chick, you guys are smoking the same kind of cigarettes. You look over at her. You're like, 
I'll figure it out. <laughs> but nowadays, if you want to be successful at cheating, you probably have to plot and plan. Yeah, but that, I mean, I don't even know how dudes cheat anymore because a girl's going to find you on Instagram and then all you're going to do is worry about fucking hitting you up. On, like you get a DM, your girlfriend gets a DM from some chick you boned. You're in Ohio on a work trip. You pork some chick at the days in. You didn't pull out. Now look at you. You have no money. DraftKings ruined your fucking life. You're on OnlyFans. That's how you found the chick in Ohio. Oh. You get there and she's fatter than you thought. And now your ball's deep in her and you're, you know, you're in a fucking La Quinta. You already spent $900 at the goddamn mini bar in the room. Have a second phone that your girlfriend will never be able to find. Oh, she'll find that. I know. Yeah, there's but. no way. There's no way. I don't have the. I don't even have that. My girlfriend could be cheating on me all the time. I wouldn't know. I can't remember the girl's password for nothing. I can barely remember my fucking password. It's killing me. I got to get a new phone too. It's full of storage. Do you ever look through all the pictures you have on your phone? No, not really. I've had, I've found like screenshots from chicks I used to date, like arguments we would get into because I would save them as evidence. I'm like, this is going to stab me. Stab me. I ran into one of my ex-girlfriends in the turnpike like six months ago, going to a show in Maryland. You just like pulled up next to her? No, I was in the goddamn place looking for snacks. You know, I like treats. Gushers on my asshole. That's the name of this episode. Gushers on my ass. God, it looked like I had a prolapsed asshole. You know how hard that is to have something on your clothes you don't know about? That shit is so embarrassing. Dude. Very embarrassing. Oh, I told you I did that one time when I had a broken leg and I put a highlighter on the top of my crutches and then I crutched around with a white shirt on and it looked like I had radioactive pits. God, bowl cut and radioactive pits. Tough. What the fuck was I talking about before this? Oh, pictures on my phone. Yeah, I got to get a new phone too. Everything. The charging port's fucked. That's what we need to be figuring out in the news. How do we make phones last forever? Did you ever notice that, like, I can't keep a phone in good shape for six months, but a guy whose marriage is in shambles, like a 40-year-old dad who hates his life, kids, wife, their phones are in immaculate condition. You could take my stepdad's phone and look at it. You're like, this looks, this is a floor model. It's fucking nuts. They don't know how to do anything besides play, like, Candy Crush. That's what you need. That's pretty funny. It's true. My phone's fucked up. Yeah. You'll look over at some guy on a plane and be like, that guy ha hates his family. That's how you can tell how good of a fucking guy's life is. If it's shitty phone, like everybody, like a chick with a cracked screen, you're about to get your dick sucked off. <laughs> nobody, nobody has better pussy than broken phone girls. <laughs> the best. If you see a chick with like a brand new case on, you're like, this chick's a fucking dead fish. It's no good. You need a spicy Latina with a fucking cracked screen <laughs> and a yeah. jeweled case, but it's missing jewels. You know what I mean? She's gotten in some fights that fell out of her purse. That's what you want. That's, that, that's the kind of woman who will throw a coffee mug at you. She knows what's <laughs> up. You know what I mean? But yeah, I got to go to Valentine's Day dinner. Hope I get some push. <laughs> Mike? It's I been believe fun, in you. It's been I a fun episode. Too. She can't do anything about it. I'm so much stronger than her. <laughs> yeah, have a good week, guys. Subscribe to this podcast. I love you. Bye.